Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at homomorphic filters. These are filters that are meant to remove the illuminance from a photograph. Essentially kind of subtract that lighting that's thrown across a scene. They're not perfect. They require tuning and I'm no professional in teaching you it, but I can show you how to implement a homomorphic filter in MATLAB. First things first, let's take a look at the raw image that we're working with. Here is just a picture of one of the pyramids and we've got a ton of illuminance coming in which affects our detail that we can see in the top of the pyramid here. The first thing that I noted about this image was that it's, it's just way too much to even start to try to filter out the sun. So we're going to just chop off the top of the image by only grabbing the pixels kind of below this row that I'm drawing here with my cursor. To do that, we have this section here I'm just gonna grab, if you remember how these, how these images work, they are just rows and columns of pixel values, right? We just have 2016 rows, and then it's got 512, or sorry, 1512 columns. So I'm just gonna grab from the 400th row to the last row, and then all the columns, and then get rid of this here, and then just make that into our raw image, and then we'll go ahead and show this. And there you can tell that I've chopped off the top of the image here. And then we're just going to be working with this sub image. You can see that we still have effects up in the top left of the image from the lighting. And our goal is to essentially subtract that lighting out of the image. To do that, I've got a homomorph function put together here. It's going to take in the image and then a sigma value. The sigma value usually works best around one. But again, it's another thing, another dial you need to turn and tune for your images. And then I'm just going to show the pair here afterwards. Here's what it looks like side by side. It's not considerably different, but you can see we were able to remove a bit of that lighting. And that's shown by just a slight more dark image on the right. So we have the raw image on the left and the homomorphic filtered image on the right. There's a rule of image processing that we can't get something out of nothing, right? So there's only so much detail that we can bring out of this image, especially in this top left, right? There's, if it's already saturated pixels from the initial photograph, we can't create more detail there, but we're trying to just limit this lighting to have such a big effect and hopefully minimize its impact on this final image. So you can see it's better, but it's not perfect. This homomorphic filter, of course, I'll show you guys the code, and it's right here. You can store these functions at the bottom of your .m file. It just takes in i and sigma, and then it's following this blog post on MATLAB's forums. There's the full link for you guys. That's also going to be in the description of this video. Go ahead and check that out. But it's working in the log space here. It's creating a filter over the size of the image, and then it's going through and doing some Gaussian, it's got like a kernel in here. We're doing some frequency shifts and some Fourier transform work to try to identify that lighting gradient, subtract it, and then give us the homomorphed filter image out. Again, this is some very advanced mathematics. This is just how to implement it right here. One thing I mentioned is that you can tune this sigma value. If it's zero, you should just get the same image out. Oh, well, actually, you get nothing out because that sigma value is dependent on something. But if it's super small, let's say 0 0.0001 right here, you can tell it's pretty much the same image coming in and out. And then as you increase this value, you'll see it can start to overcorrect that lighting field. And you can see your edges are actually brightened a little bit because it considers them to be dark in that raw image. So usually, values around you know, 0 0.7, 1, 2. These will give you the best subtraction of that lighting field without overcorrecting and affecting your edges. I hope this helped. It's a bit of an esoteric concept. I really encourage you, do your research online, take a look at that MathWorks blog. This is just the implementation. I can't teach you guys the foundations and theory of the homomorphic filter, but I hope this was just enough to allow you to implement this if you've got some lighting affecting your image. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.